What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. So today I want us to discuss about uh, a certain common error that normally occurs when you try to install some uh, particular uh, applications, especially uh, Civo 3D, AutoCAD Civo 3D, uh, Blender and uh, ArcGIS uh, Desktop. So the error that I'm talking about is right here. Uh, you only have a picture of it. So let's say that you, try, you are trying to install uh, AutoCAD Civo 3D. So the moment you double click on the setup, uh, the process uh, begins and it reaches a certain point and it gets stuck at this point here. So it can actually stuck here forever. And uh, uh, what you need is to uh, find a way on how to go about it. And the common cause of this is because Let's say you ha you you have a uh, Civil 3D or AutoCAD uh, uh, 2020, 2017 and you want to upgrade to uh, 2022. So you find that you number one we don't install uh, two uh, uh, version 2017 properly and again uh, uh, you try to install uh, the application. Let's say you are upgrading to 2024. You try to install it multiple times. So uh, some of the files get corrupt and some of them get uh, broken and uh, that leads to this, uh, this error that we're talking about here. So how to go about it is to actually you need an internet connection and a, a web browser. Just open up a web browser and then just search for, we are going to, uh, to use a third uh, party software to uh, do some cleaning so you want to clean everything in our computer the software that i'm talking about is called wise uh, wise 365 wise care wise care uh, sorry wise care 365 and then wise care 365 and then uh, just search for it and then uh, look for uh, the official website www.wisecare365 uh, so on this case click on the first link and then it will take you to this particular uh, uh, web web page so what we want is a free version uh, we have the pro and then the free version uh, click on download for the first uh, link and then the process will commence uh, for so the download process uh, is ongoing so we're going to give it time for it to to complete so we're remaining with around uh, 40 seconds so I already have it uh, downloaded in my computer I have it on the desktop uh, so that's how you can download so th at the moment uh, the download is complete uh, just double click on the uh, setup of that particular software and then uh, user account controller is going to ask you this question then click yes and then let it uh, then uh, make sure that you, you check this I accept agreement make sure that you check on it and then click the install button uh, so make sure that the, these two buttons are checked and then click finish so the moment uh, the installation is finished it's going to open up this browser automatically the official browser uh, what to do just uh, close 
that browser and then and then uh, so the the software is automatically going to open up and if you didn't uh, op uh, click on the launch button after installation uh, double click on on the voice care application that j has just been installed it is right here just double click on it and then uh, under the uh, pc checkup uh, tab right here is the, i think it's the first uh, tab on your end so click on checkup so click on checkup and then let it run for what is it's actually doing is uh, going through all the files inside your pc and looking for the ones that have been broken down and the corrupt ones so just give it time to uh, do the cleaning So uh, guys you can see that uh, the checkup is complete and uh, if you look around you can see that the uh, user files are up actually up to 5 point this is just 6 GB so the next step is to click on the fix click the fix button and then again let it run just give it time it might take some time so you need to be uh, a little bit patient with the process So uh, guys you can see that all the uh, errors have been, has been fixed so the next step is to just close down uh, this application uh, just close it down and then what you need you must I repeat you must restart your computer just uh, the normal way go ahead and restart so for this case uh, on my end I'm not going to restart uh, anything because uh, I'm good. So the moment you restart your computer and try to reinstall uh, the, let's say the uh, AutoCAD Civo 3D or any other application that you are installing, you will see that the now the process will continue successfully. So I hope uh, this video helps you out. Uh, if if you have any uh, uh, question, you have any comment. Uh, leave them in the comment se section below and uh, I'll go through them. See you in the next tutorial.